Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janet. Welcome to those who are new. Thank you so much for subscribing. It really means so much to me. <laughs> um, and I hope you're enjoying the videos that I'm making. Um, just to let you, you know, I'm open to suggestions. Anything that you want to see from me, of course, let me know. And I will write them on my list to film and they will be up for you. Um, or any products that you want to see too, let me know. Uh, so for today's video, we're going to be talking about fall lips. Now I struggled with filming this video because I, uh, initially, <laughs> initially I wasn't going to film it because, um, we're not really wearing a lot of lip products right now because, you know, the mask, you know, the mask and, you know, all that. Definitely for a lot of people considering the situation that we're all in, makeup is definitely a lot of, makeup is the last thing a lot of people are spending their money on and lips for sure are going to be the absolutely last thing that they're going to be um, allocating their money to because we're not wearing lips right now. But I thought it'd still be fun video to watch. Um, if not for now, definitely in the future. Um, even if you're just around the house too like I do, that's the only time I wear lip products around the house. I still think it's fun to have them. And I decided to do drugstore only just because if we are going to allocate some of our money to lip products, i rather they be affordable and something that you're not going to like, because trust me, I am too. When I purchase lip products, I'm like, Ugh. now some of them are worth it and some of them are not. But, you know, for today's video, we're, I'm going to stick to drugstore products and I hope you enjoy that. Before we get into the video, um, please consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit that like button at the end so I know that you are liking the content. And don't forget to follow me on IG. Um, yeah. So with that, let's go ahead and start. So for... So you can see the color better. I did decide to do lip swatches. So I'm going to insert, their, insert them throughout the lip while I'm talking about them. And I'm just going to do swatches on my hand. Um, with that, let's go ahead. <laughs> okay. So the first lip product is going to be from CoverGirl. And this is in the shade... Trending 440 and then the formula Demi Matte. This is definitely more of a cool tone nude, but I absolutely love the formula and it feels very comfortable on the lips. But again, most I only have one liquid lipstick in here, so it's not something that you could wear under the mask, but definitely something you can throw on very quickly and not have to worry about, you know, lines or anything like that if you don't happen to have a lip liner with you. But like I said, it's a very, uh, it's a cool tone color with like a mauve purpley undertone almost. But it's very, very pretty, very unique in my collection and I do enjoy this formula. And I look forward to actually looking more into these colors or this formula. The next one I have is Milani and the reason that I decided to include this particular shade is because it's still available right now and I don't want to mention it when it's not. And this is in the shade Shoop from that Salt and Pepper collection and this is definitely more of a 90s brown nude and the best thing that is that it comes in a kit and it comes with its own lip liner um, so you don't have to worry about trying to match with it and it's about $11 and it's still available right now so if you haven't... Um, tried it or you're thinking about it I would say go and pick this up because it's such a pretty color and it's definitely worth the buy because you get the lip liner too and you can always just use the lip liner by itself or this together so you can almost get like three different looks with one little kit and I forgot to uh, I forgot to mention that this is more of a matte finish but not so suck your lips dry matte even because it is in a bullet lipstick form. Two shades, or the next two lip colors are from Pro Pro Beauty. Now this is a brand that's new to me. And when I purchased these and I swatched them, I thought that these colors were gonna be so perfect for, for fall, and I was right. The first shade I have is Victorious. And they have this very unique pointy kind of like shoop, like in there, oh crap, <sighs> snap. So they have this very like unique they have this very unique uh, shape to it where it's almost like a little scoop and it comes to a point. Very easy to apply to your lips. Now these are not 100% like opaque on the first swipe. You do have to build these up. And they come in a satin shade. And the first shade that I have is Victorious. And this is more of that brown 
brown with of that brown with a splash of orange in it which is why i think it's so perfect for fall like those orangey browns like if you want to do orange but not full-on orange that brown tones it down so it's a little bit more wearable for those who are not comfortable wearing very unique color um lip colors the other one that i have is closer now a thing about um close i mean excuse me i think oh no i moved it i think about propa beauty if you didn't know they are black owned and these new lipsticks that they came out with is the only product available but it is um it is geared towards deep and dark skin tones medium deep and dark skin tones um like deep so this brand is geared towards deep and dark skin tones um and each shade is really pretty and when i see the swatches on them like if you go on their website oh my gosh it's really really pretty this is why it's geared towards them and that's why their lip colors on someone who is more light skin is going to be a little bit deeper on their skin and that's closer and this is described as a like a mauve toned brown and like i said to me on me this looks more like a brown like a little bit more of a cool tone brown but on someone who has deeper skin tone you can definitely see the mauve pull out and it's so beautiful on their skin tone but i do enjoy it on mine too and like i said these are both cream formulas so um because they are nudes there you might need a lip liner for someone who is like my skin tone or lighter but i still think they're so beautiful but you have to do build them up just to let you know up after that is going to be from flower beauty and this is in the shade cinnamon crush and it's from their um petal pouts and the formula is a matte and this is like literally a cinnamon color with a touch of a little bit of a mauve in there like an undertone of mauve and it's very very pretty and their matte formula is not drying either. It's a very comfortable matte, but you don't have to feel like it's slipping and sliding anywhere. And if you haven't tried Flower Beauty's um, Petal Pout form, form, if you haven't tried their Petal Pout formulas, whether in the cream or the matte, you're missing out. They are very inexpensive. They're around $6. Unfortunately, they're no longer at Walmart, but there's still some in Kroger stores. Uh, if you look on their website under store finder or store locator, you can definitely find some locations on where you can find it and you can always order from their website. And I've ordered from their website before and their shipping is really good. Next lip color up is from Colourpop and this is in the shade Brick and it's from their Creme Luxe formula. They have like three different formulas. They have the Creme, the Matte, and then the Blur or something. Blur? Luxe Blur? Something like that. I like all three formulas. This is Brick, and this is definitely more, less red toned and more brown in there than you would think, especially for a shade named Brick, but definitely appropriate for fall. Oh, and if you guys didn't notice, I changed my background. I just put some natural leaves and um, little pine cones. I changed it up um, on suggestion of my cousin. She said that the photos were too reflective, so thank you to her for telling me, Monica. This next one up is new to me, but I really like the formula. You just have to, this is more of that drying mat that I was talking about. The rest of the ones that I've talked about so far are very comfortable. This one, you, you may need to make sure you need to put lip balm on, but the way it looks on your lips, it's so beautiful. And this is a new formulation from ColourPop, and this is in there. It's the lippy stick, but it's like their blur formula and the Maddox blur formula. There's two different types. There's two different types because this is the new one that came out in their Desert Something collection. You see that special packaging right there? And I love their lippy sticks like every formula. I love, love, love their lippy sticks. Um, but this is a new formulation. And I really enjoy it because it's almost like a dupe for that e.l.f. Um, color that I used in that Pumpkin Spice video. I'll link it up here. And it's almost a dupe for it. Because that orange, like that burnt orange, is such a pretty color. But I hadn't been able to find anything like it. And this is similar enough to where you get the same effect. Um, and like I said, this is definitely matte. Burnt orange. But it, on your lips, you can't really see it here. But on your lips, it definitely, definitely has that blur effect. You'll see it in that little clip that I'll insert. So, yes. 
All right, the last three lip colors are going to be from NYX. NYX is a really good affordable, well, drugstore affordable um, brand. I really enjoy NYX. They have so many different lip formulas that you have you you will get to find something in their formula just because everything is you know <laughs> everything they have so many flip formulas so you'll definitely find something that you'll enjoy and you'll like what i'm going to mention is in their liquid soy formula and the liquid soy are definitely is definitely one of the more comfortable matte formulas that i've tried over the years it's still a little drying and not as comfortable as of course like ofra or dust of colors so as lipstick liquid lipsticks go it's very comfortable it's more of a thin formula and the shade that i have to show you is called vintage and this is more of a vampy deep berry color it's not as vampy as other colors that i have but as far as i could find one that was from the drugstore that i absolutely love and i've been loving this one for years um i had to repurchase it because it was getting a little older so definitely love this one and it has like an almost undertone of purple and definitely definitely love this one but I might have to repurchase it, repurchase it in the next couple of months because their lip formulas don't really last a long time, but still, look at that. It's so beautiful. Now, the other lipstick formula that I want to mention for NYX is going to be their matte formula, and it's just oh, the regular bullet lipstick in the matte formula. They have different formulations, I believe, in this. Really one of my favorite formulations over the years. I've used this for formula for like years and years and years, and this is definitely one of my favorites. I've had to repurchase it because it does go bad. And this is just the shade Alabama. And this is definitely more of that brick red. Um, but still, it looks so beautiful. And it's deep. And it just looks gorgeous. It's one of my favorite shades ever for fall especially. And definitely enjoy it. And I feel like if you want something of a red and orange, but not too red, not too orange, I think this is definitely an in-between. And even though it is their matte formula, it's not as drying as you would think because because some bullet lipsticks are very matte and this one's not matte like completely matte where it's uncomfortable to wear and the second shade that i have is crazed and this is a little bit deeper than alabama i'll put them side by side so you can see it and it's definitely a little bit more vampy a little bit more of that deep red and still it's two of my favorite shades that have come out they haven't come out with any new colors that i know of in this formula but i love it again when i choose deep colors i liked a little bit more deep just because i feel more comfortable where it's not going to be fe feeling like it's slipping and sliding and definitely when it's very deep in bambi colors i need a matte lips like a liquid lipstick because i know that's going to dry down and it's not going to budge um, but definitely all of these I love and I've tried over and over and it's not something that, you know, I would not recommend. Um, the only one that, like I said, is newer to me, it's this one, but I do, I did want to mention it because it's um, similar to that color that I really like from e.l.f. that was discontinued and I like the way it looks on your lips. But if you don't like that powdery feel, like from blur lipsticks or powder lip, powder formulas, then you won't like this just to let you know um but i'll keep looking for that orange if you like it let me know and i'll try to keep finding something similar all right with that that completes this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i enjoyed making it like i said i didn't want to do anything too expensive even though they do have sales but i wanted to stick to something that for the most part you can walk into the store at, like ulta and pick these up um, the only thing you do have to order online is the purple ones, but honestly, these are worth it. And you're supporting a black-owned business, so definitely, why not? <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, don't forget to give it that thumbs up. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Bye.